Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Music Lyrics 6. Alright, uh, the song today is Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Alright, so let's, uh, let's look at the note here. The original Take Me Out to the Ball Game was produced in 1908, so it's more than 100 years old now, uh, and sung by Jack Norworth and Albert von Tilsner. Okay, good. Uh, it is considered to be the anthem for professional baseball. Remember, if we say like an anthem, like a country has an anthem, uh, just for the baseball organization, you know, the whole baseball league, it's almost like an anthem. It's a, it's a song everybody, uh, doesn't matter what city you're from, this is played at all the ball games. So it's, it's an anthem for the whole, you know, sport itself. Okay. Uh, for professional baseball, usually played during the middle of the seventh inning of a baseball game. Yes, so if you've ever gone to a stadium in a baseball game, they have what they call the seventh inning stretch, which is a little bit of a longer break in between innings. Sometimes people do actually get up and stretch, uh, and this is the time when they will play this song. They will play this song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, during that period. All right, let's continue. Take me out to the ball game. It is said to be the third most common song sung by Americans. That actually kind of surprised me. So out of all the songs that are out there, you know, you think all these big pop hits and everything else, but, you know, this just never goes out. This is a classic. It stays around. It's sung at ball games. So the only uh, two songs that are sung more by Americans are... Uh, Happy Birthday and the Star Spangled Banner, which is the national anthem. Uh, so basically, so uh, only behind, behind only Happy Birthday and Star Spangled Banner, and of course, Take Me Out to the Ball Game is number three. Okay, let's continue. Uh, all right, now actually, it's time to to go over the song now, and just like usual, uh, you know, I'll I'll read it. And we'll, we'll cover any vocabulary that needs to be covered. So let me start. And, th and this is the uh, old one. This is the original one. Sometimes you don't hear this whole song. Sometimes you just hear the chorus played at ball games. But this is the full song here. Um, and it's, it's supposed to be like Katie Casey is supposed to be uh, a girl's name. And this girl was just, I guess, uh, crazy about baseball. And so that's how they originally made it. So uh, let me start. Uh, Katie Casey was baseball mad. Well, baseball mad, if you're mad about something, characterized by uncontrolled excitement or emotion, or basically, like we say today, you're crazy for something. So she was baseball mad. She was crazy for baseball. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right, Katie Casey was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad. All right, uh, again, if we say fever, fever means a strong enthusiasm. Uh, especially one that affects a lot of people. Okay, good. Um, again, let's let's continue. So, Katie Casey was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad, just to root for the home team crew. Every Sue, Katie Blue. Okay, so here, j just to root. Remember, if we say to root, to root means to cheer for. So she, you know, go to the baseball game, cheer for her team. Come on, guys, let's do it. All right, so. Uh, like we say, just to root for the home team. All right, remember, home team, uh, the, that's the team where the, that stadium is, is their home. That's where they play most of their games. So the other team is usually referred to as the away team. And, of course, you know, most of the fans in the stadium, they will be cheering for the home team. Uh, usually, I think it's more than 90% would be, you know, the one supporting uh, the, the, the home team, you know, because the, they're the ones that go to the stadium to watch it. So anyway, again, let's uh, let's uh, go on here. So, uh, KD Casey was baseball mad, had the fever and had it bad, just to root for the hometown crew. Every Sue, KD Blue. All right, the hometown crew. Well, the crew is like the team here. Um, every Sue. All right, now this is an old use. Uh, like we say here, the word Sue in in the early 1900s. It actually was a French coin, but it was used in America to just mean a low uh, denomination coin, you know, like a penny or a nickel or something like that. So we say Sue. So if she if she blew every Sue, remember, uh, blue is the past tense to blow. When you blow money, it means you, you spend a lot of money on things that you 
don't necessarily need. But she loved baseball so much that she blew all her money on going to the games and watching the games because she was a uh, a baseball fanatic, a great fan. So that's that's the song they had. Uh, okay, so every Sue, Katie Blue, yeah. Uh, and then we go to the next part. On a Saturday, her young Bo. All right, well, Bo, Bo is our boyfriend. Remember, it's a word we get from French sometimes. So it's kind of a cool, we still use it sometimes when we could say somebody's beau as a cool way to say somebody's uh, boyfriend. You know, we usually say it about a girl, and that's her boyfriend is her beau. And so we still pronounce it the French way. So, um, yeah, so let's continue. So on a Saturday, her young beau called to see uh, if she'd like to go to see a show, you know, uh, or to see a show probably, you know, like a take you to the theater or the movies or something like that. Yeah, very common. That's what you might ask on a date. Uh, to, uh, uh, but Miss Katie said, no, I'll tell you what you could do. And then, of course, this is the chorus. This is the part that everybody knows and everybody can sing this. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. You know, maybe she liked to be with the crowd, all the people around. Maybe it was more excitement. Uh, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. All right, uh, Cracker Jacks. Most Americans do know this. This is uh, a box, and this is what, exactly what it is, a box of caramel-coated popcorn. So it's popcorn already prepared in a box, and it's it's covered with caramel. It's, it's, it's a snack a lot of kids like to eat. Uh, and there's usually some peanuts in it. I can remember as a kid, sometimes you used to see it advertised on TV. And I think it went, you know, Candy coated popcorn, peanuts, and a prize. Because they always put a little prize in there for children, too. Uh, that's what you get with Cracker Jacks. You know, Cracker Jacks was. So it was often sold at the ball game, and I guess it was sold then. And the company's very lucky that he included their, their product in the song, you know, way back then. Might have helped them. So anyway, let's get back to this, he said. So she says, uh, I'll tell you what you could do. All right, again. So the usual course. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back. Meaning like she loves being at the game so much. She don't care if she ever goes home. She'd like to stay at the ball game all day. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me, yeah. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root. Root, root for the home team. So she wants to cheer, cheer, cheer for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. You know, it's a pity. Uh, for there's one, two, three strikes you're out in the old ball game. So, of course, if you know if you know baseball, you know, if the player swings and misses, that's a strike. Three strikes, they're out. So that, that's what we say. So, uh, yeah, if they don't win, it's a shame, for it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. All right, and then we go into the next verse. Um, yeah, Katie Casey saw all the games, uh, knew the players by their first names. So, yeah, she knew all the teams, she knew all the players, you know, she was a real diehard fan. Told the umpire he was wrong all along. So I guess if he made a call that was against her team, of course, he's, ah, hey, you're wrong, you're blind, what are you doing? You know, something like that. Um, uh, good and strong. Uh, when the score was just 2-2, two to two, meaning it was a tied score, you know, probably going into late innings. Katie Casey knew what to do just to cheer up the boys. Uh, she knew, she's talking about the home team she's cheering for, she made the gang sing this song, and then the chorus is just repeated again, which is, you know, take me out to the ball game, take me out to the uh, with the crowd. So basically, that's what she does. So she'll get the whole stadium to sing it, and this, this, this song really caught on, and it lasted through all the years. And it's actually played at every single ball game, usually in the middle of the seventh inning. So that's why it's the third most common song that is actually sung by Americans. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. If you ever go to a baseball game now, you'll, you'll, you'll have an idea what this song means. Anyway, um, goodbye. See you next time. Bye-bye.